hello friends so once again welcome to my channel today we will see multiplication of sign integers using booth's algo only but the approach will be a bit different the algo is same only but we will approach it in different way so how we are going to do it let's see so see what we will do to do the multiplication we require two inputs multiplicand and multiplier for that we will use two registers m will hold the multiplicand and q will hold the multiplier do understand here both the multiplicand and multiplier are represented using two's complement form and they are represented using equal number of bits and then count will hold the number of bits in your operand and to the right of your multiplier in the q multiplier is there to the right of it that is to the right of least significant bit one zero is assumed that is q minus one position the lsb is q zero and q minus one represents what the bit to the right of my lsb in the multiplier that is we are taking as zero and then a holds what the value zero how many zeros will be there whatever is the number of uh, bits in my input that is n number of zeros are there in register a then we'll proceed so see what we will do we'll check two consecutive bit positions in the q, uh, q re register that is in the multiplier if the two consecutive bit positions are 1 0 that means q minus 1 is 1 and q 0 is 0 then what we are going to do we see like this right 1 2 0 we are moving then we are going to perform add operation see 0 means what positive so we are going to perform add operation and if we are going from 0 to 1 that means 1 we are moving into so 1 represents negative so we are going to perform minus operation this is just to remember so we are going to perform subtraction operation and if two consecutive bits are same then we are not going to perform neither addition nor subtraction both we are not doing after doing this step next we are going to perform arithmetic shift right a s h r what is the operand operand is content of a register q and q minus 1 bit all together will be taken as a single input and will perform the arithmetic shift right after doing that we'll decrement the count if count reaches value 0 then we'll stop the process and result will be there in the register a and q together that means two n bit numbers are multiplied result will be of twice n bit and if count is not uh, zero then again we will repeat the procedure what is the procedure take two consecutive bit positions accordingly you perform addition subtraction or no operation after that do the arithmetic shift right and then decrement the count hope you remember what is ashr what is ashr suppose one combination of bit you take 1 0 1 if i need to perform ashr this one will come here this zero will come here this one will come here what is this position will be filled up by one only suppose another combination i am taking 0 1 1 0 if it is done done ashr it will be 0 0 1 1 hope you have understood what is ashr now we are ready to see one example algo is understood so let's apply this algo let's say we are performing minus 7 into 3 that is we are going to perform the multiplication we know both the operands will not take equal number of bits but we will represent them using equal number of bits by extending the sign bit of the smaller number right so minus 7 into 3 first i need to represent minus 7 in two's complement form so what is plus 7 first i have written this is 0 3 1 it requires four bits and what is minus 7 two's complement of this and we know how to take two's complement of a number suppose it is 0 1 how do we take this from this side we will start reading till we meet the first one so we have met the first one here so you copy it directly and then all other bits you flip so it will become 0 1 0 1 so 1 0 0 1 will be your minus 7 right so you now you know all this now we need to do the initialization register a will hold four number of zeros q will hold what multiplier what is multiplier 3 3 is what 1 1 0 1 1 is 3 but we need to represent it using four bits so this sign bit will be copied to this one so it will become 0 0 1 1 
what is q minus 1 initially 0 what is m m is my multiplicand that is minus 7 we have written this so this is my initial configuration i am telling you if your initial configuration is correct you are ultimately going to reach the, uh, this one what is that a successful completion of the algo so please take utmost care of whenever you are initializing your m q and all if they are correct race part will be definitely correct because algo is not that tough then the next is now we we'll start the procedure so how to do it we need to check what is q minus 1 and what is q 0 here what is q minus 1 0 what is q 0 it is 1 so i am moving from 0 to 1 so it is a negative so i'll perform a subtraction operation what i will do a minus m i will do and doing a minus m is equivalent to what a plus adding the two's complement of what m so that only i am going to do right so see what i will do a equal to a minus m then what is that a plus two's complement of that is equivalent why i have taken this decision because of these two bits right and then we'll perform so a plus two's complement of m what is two's complement of m plus seven that is zero triple one adding something with zero triple one zero with uh, zero triple one it will be zero triple one only so i got the answer and then multiplier will remain the same and q bar q minus 1 will also remain the same this is my one part is done then what i will do a s h r so a s h r what a q q minus 1 to the right it is not only shift it is arithmetic shift right so how i will do it what i will do this one this zero will be copied here as well as to the next position this one one this one will come here so what it will become one double zero one so see here it will become what one double zero one then this one will come here so this one and this zero will go out right so after arithmetic shift right we did this position and our one particular cycle is over so first cycle is over then again we will repeat the procedure because till now our count has not reached the value zero count has become what three only so see now my two consecutive bits are what one one when two consecutive bits are same do i need to perform any addition subtraction no so what i will do no addition subtraction so simply the whatever bits are there previously i have just simply written it again and then what i will do ashr very correct ashr i need to do so ashr if i will do what it will become zero 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 one this one will come here this one then 0 0 and this one will come here so that only i will do see here 0 0 1 then double 1 double 0 and then this one will come there so this is one right ashr is done so this is my completion of the second cycle done now again i will repeat the procedure what i will check this one and this one this is 1 to 0 i am going towards 0 that is positive so plus I'm going to do a equal to a plus m that I'm going to do, right? So what is my a right now? Triple zero one. What is my m? My m is one zero zero one. So if I'll do the addition, one plus one is what? Two. That is zero. One is carry. So it is one. It is zero. It is one. So after doing the addition, the value will become one zero one zero. Then this I'll simply copy. So it is double one double zero one i also copy this step is done then what next i am going to do i am going to perform arithmetic shift right of this whole content as a single unit so what it will become double one zero one yes double one zero one this zero will come here so zero double one zero zero double one zero then this zero will come to q minus one position it has come what i have completed third cycle i have completed till now i think it is correct then next see what i have to do zero zero both are same so do i need to perform any addition subtraction no what i will do simply i'll copy whatever is there so no addition subtraction then what i will do arithmetic shift right so it will be triple one zero and this one will come here so one zero double one see 
one zero double one and this zero will come here so it is zero and this zero will go out right so at the end of the fourth circle what is there in a and q triple one zero i will write here properly triple one zero one zero one one the result is positive or negative obviously negative why because the sign bit is one so it is a negative result what is the value take the two's complement of it then what is the two's complement of it one zero one zero one rest all other bits are zero zero so it is what one plus two plus four this is four this is what eight this is sixteen so sixteen plus four plus one is what twenty one it is negative twenty one so result is minus twenty one and we know it very well 7 into minus 7 into 3 is negative 21 and we have reached at that result this is also a simpler way to approach the both cell go hope this example is uh, understood and then in the next video i'm going to take one more example using the same procedure only then it will become much more clearer till then thank you so much and if you are getting from my explanations then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.